Well, hello and welcome to another video by Berkshire Guitar Amplifier Repairs. I'm Stuart Smith and today we're going to be looking at how to bias the Black Star HT100. This is also useful for the Black Star HT60. All you're going to need for this is a digital multimeter with a 200 millivolt or similar scale. So let's get right on to it and see how to bias this amplifier. OK, well I've got the amp flipped over and on my handy little stands here which support both sides of the amp. And let's just have a quick look at the amp from above. As you can see these are all or mostly surface mount components so there is a lot of, not a lot of maintenance that you can do on these amplifiers. Now before we get started on the bias, I want to point out a little uh, catch-22 on this amplifier. Nothing will happen on this amplifier until you have an input jack plugged in. This amplifier has a circuit which kills all the output tube current until the jack's plugged in. So if you try and bias this without that jack plugged in, you'll struggle. OK, let me now point out the bias adjustment pots. They're not very easy to spot, to spot, but they are just behind this connector here. There are two little trim pots there. Ignore that one for the moment. This is the main bias adjustment pot here, and that's what we're going to be using. Uh, for your interest, this one adjusts the balance between the, the two halves of the push-pull arrangement. But with this simple multimeter method, we're not going to be able to balance the two halves. And you're going to have to rely on a good matched quad to, uh, to achieve your balance. Let me now show you where we're going to be measuring the current through these tubes. The point we're going to be measuring is here on the right hand side on the anode of this diode uh, D27 I believe the right hand side of this diode we're going to clip one clip of our multimeter the positive side of our multimeter here and we're going to clip the other side of our multimeter to uh, a suitable ground point any ground point will do set the multimeter on the 200 millivolt scale because we're going to be measuring about 140 millivolts. Let me tell you why. There are four output tubes in this amplifier and when we measure at this point we are measuring the combined current through all four tubes. So 35 milliamps per tube is about what you should aim for. 35 times 4 I make 140 so we're going to be measuring 140 milliamps, which will get converted to 140 millivolts since it goes across a 1 ohm resistor at this point here. So we want to measure 140 millivolts here. What I'll do now is clip on the multimeter and show you how that's done and then we can get started to make some adjustments. OK, I've clipped the multimeter on now. You can see that I've clipped the one crop lead onto the point I mentioned which is that side of the diode that lead goes over to the probes of my multimeter and I've picked up a nice ground there for the negative of my multimeter and there's the multimeter at the moment measuring 55 millivolts now remember that's the that is the current going through four tubes so we've only got about I don't know what, you know, 11 milliamps per tube. So we need to adjust that. So I'm going to go in here to this bias pot. And clockwise gives you more current. 
anti-clockwise gives you less current. I'm just going to turn up the current now to get about 140. Don't sweat a, a millivolt here or there, it makes no difference. In fact, don't sweat 5 millivolts here or there because this is the current going through four tubes. So 147, 148, that's perfectly okay. That's about 35 milliamps per tube. And that's it, job done. As I say, this pot here is for balancing the two halves, but you can only do that if you've got two bias probes um, on the other side of the board and you can monitor the current through both halves. Other than that, just rely on the fact that your supplier has given you a good matched quad of tubes. And that's it, job done. One Blackstar HT100 biased. Well, I hope you enjoyed that, and I think you'll agree that that was a relatively simple procedure if you know where to look. So Blackstar HT60, Blackstar HT100, you can bias them both using that method. Now, I don't really like to work on these Blackstar amps because they're crawling with surface mount components and you can't really repair them at a component level. So when they fail, it's a completely new board required. Also, Blackstar are very mean with their schematics. They're exceptionally hard to get hold of. So, really, you can only do the most basic repairs to these amplifiers. But they're, they're good amps. Well, I'll catch you next time, and uh, thank you for watching.